deep muscles of the trunk, dorsal view. In this video, we will identify the deep muscles of the trunk in the cat, primarily those that attach to the scapula. Identify the rotator cuff muscles and illustrate homologous muscles in the human. Let's look at the deep muscles of the trunk. To view the deep muscles of the trunk, the trapezius muscle must be transected, just lateral to the mid-dorsal line, and reflected. Below the trapezius muscle, is the rhomboid group. In the cat, there are two rhomboids. The rhomboid capitus originates from the nuchal line of the skull, and the rhomboidius originates from the spinous processes of the cervical and thoracic vertebrae. Both of these muscles insert into the medial border of the scapula. To review, the two rhomboids in the cat are the rhomboid capitus and the rhomboidius. In this view, you can also see splenius, one of the intrinsic muscles of the back. The splenius lies deep to rhomboid capitus and covers the dorsal and lateral surfaces of the neck. It acts in extension and lateral rotation of the head. Here is the splenius. The rhomboidius muscle in the cat is homologous to the rhomboid major and the rhomboid minor in humans. The rhomboids act to stabilize the scapula in both cats and in humans. There is no homologue for rhomboid capitus in humans. The splenius muscle is homologous to the similarly named muscles in humans, splenius capitus and splenius cervices. Splenius cervices is not shown in the cadaver dissection. Now let's look at additional muscles that attach to the scapula. We have reoriented to show a lateral view. The latissimus dorsi muscle is transected at the midpoint between its origin and its insertion. Reflect the cut ends of latissimus dorsi and clear the connective tissue off the thoracic wall to expose the deeper muscles. Serratus ventralis is a large, fan-shaped muscle originating from the lateral portions of ribs 1 through 9 and inserting on the medial border of the scapula. It acts with the rhomboids to stabilize the scapula. In humans, the homologous muscle is called serratus anterior. Originating from the inferior angle of the scapula is the teres major. This muscle is a synergist of latissimus dorsi, assisting with extension of the arm. Here is the teres major in the cat and the human. The last of the dorsal muscles to examine are the rotator cuff muscles. These muscles extend from the scapula to the head of the humerus and aid in stabilizing the shoulder joint. Before identifying these muscles, let's review the skeletal anatomy of the scapula in the cat. The supraspinous fossa is above the scapular spine. Supra means above. The infraspinous fossa is below the scapular spine. Infra means below. 
and the subscapular fossa is on the deep surface of the scapula. Sub means beneath. Turning to the dissected cat, deep to trapezius, we can identify the scapular spine, which in the cat transects the scapula into two approximately equal portions. Supraspinatus, as its name implies, is located above the scapular spine. It originates from the supraspinous fossa and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. Infraspinatus is located below the scapular spine. It originates from the infraspinous fossa, passes deep to spinodeltoid, and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. With spinodeltoid transected and reflected, you can see the full extent of infraspinatus. Teres minor is a minute muscle in the cat, located deep to spinodeltoid and visible when spinodeltoid is reflected. As in humans, teres minor in the cat inserts onto the greater tubercle of the humerus. Subscapularis, the last of the rotator cuff group, is best viewed from the ventral side with the pectoralis muscles cut and reflected. Subscapularis is located on the deep side of the scapula, originating from the subscapular fossa and inserting on the lesser tubercle of the humerus. The cat's rotator cuff muscles have similar origin, insertion, and action as the humans. Let's review the deep muscles of the trunk. Deep to the trapezius are the rhomboid capitus, rhomboideus, and splenius. Deep to latissimus dorsi, you can view serratus ventralis and teres major. The rotator cuff muscles are the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. This completes the identification of the deep muscles of the trunk on the dorsal side of the cat.